with God, nothing shall be impossible. Hallelujah. At this time, we want to welcome our guests. We want you to know that you're in the right place. And if you're joining us by social media, you're watching the right church. There's a blessing taking place at 1317 Row Avenue. Hallelujah. We acknowledge our sister church in Lakeland, and we also acknowledge our pastor, Bishop Kenneth Groover. Hallelujah. We want you to know that wherever you are, you can receive a miracle. At this time, stand with us as our praise team comes with our opening hymn.
Hallelujah. As we go before the throne, get in your heart that there is nothing too hard for God. There is nothing too hard for your God. With every heart believing and every head bowed, Father, in Jesus' name, we come humbly. We come. We come seeking you, Father. For we know that there is nothing too hard for you. We pray, Father, that we be ready, but that we be ready for that great return of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Speak a word. Speak through the songs. Prepare our hearts and our minds to be ready, to stay ready, to live a rapture-ready life. And we pray that you will bless us to be a witness that we may tell others about the goodness of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We pray for an anointing to come down in this service today, an anointing that will destroy every yoke. We pray for an anointed word that will come forth, a word that will break up the fallow ground, a word that will call somebody to say yes to Jesus this morning, a word that will encourage the saints to keep on going. We pray that our faith fail not in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. At this time, we're going to receive or read our concert scripture. Psalm 149 through 150, and we shall read together. Praise ye the Lord. Sing unto the Lord a new song and his name in the congregation of saints. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name in the dance. Let them sing praises unto him with the timbrel and harp. For the Lord taketh pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishment upon the people, to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron, to execute upon them the judgment written, this honor have all his saints. Praise ye the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psaltery and harp. Praise him with the timbrel and dance. Praise him with string instruments and organs. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. Let everything that have breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah, he's worthy of our praise. Remain standing as we recite our mission statement together to evangelize the world for Jesus Christ, to equip every believer to become a true disciple of Christ, and to engage those social problems that challenge the communities we have been called to serve. You may be seated at this time. Our praise and worship team is coming to lead us further in praise. Praise the Lord, everybody. Do you know that God is great? I'm sure, I'm looking for somebody that knows that God is great. I'm looking for the confidence in your face to change. You know, I'm looking for somebody to say, God is great. He is good. He's even good. He's better than good. He's better than anything I've ever known. The greatness of the Lord is, is inconceivable. Oh, 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 oh,
get the dust. So make sure you not cutting them off, alright? So don't do it. Don't do this. Extend as far as you can. Let's do it together. Come on. Get the prize in. You never know where you might be. You can't get to God.
young and old, repent of all your sins, and the Holy Ghost will come on in. The Bible declares Jesus is, there was a group of six people, sick people, and the Bible says, and he sent his word and healed them. The Lord will send what you need. The question is, are you expecting something from heaven? Hallelujah. When my wife orders something from Amazon or somewhere, she expects something to come. She placed the order. She paid the money. Now she expects. She, last night she was looking out the window. I think that car should be coming to our house. So it is with God. Ask and ye shall receive. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and the door shall be open. What are you expecting from God? God has a way of delivering what you expect. And so the Lord has sent his word through our bishop this morning, Bishop Kenneth Groover. Hallelujah. We thank God for a sent word from heaven. But before he comes, so let us receive our praise team.
thing ever happened in our lives we thank you Jesus what a great God we serve today I don't know what you need today but I know God's got it God's got it and he has more than enough he has more than enough as we trust God together in prayer you bow your heads with us. Father, we thank you. We thank you today that you're able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all we can ask or think. So we thank you today. Every open door. We thank you, Lord, for every blessing, every miracle you're allowed to come our way. Save today, Lord, across this world, across the nation, in this house today. Save, Lord, save and deliver. In the name of Jesus, let the sick be healed. Let the sick be delivered. In the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Do it for us, Lord. We give you glory. We give you honor. In the name of your son, Jesus Christ. Let the church say hallelujah. Come on, tell him hallelujah again. Come on, tell him hallelujah again. Tell him hallelujah again. Hallelujah. Move, Lord. Move, move by your spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
of the Spirit of the Lord is in this place to deliver us, to bless us, to heal us, to save us. The Spirit of the Lord is in this house. Oh, we thank you for it, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory. enough he will supply but he shall supply every one of your needs according to his riches and glory hallelujah thank you Lord you may be seated today we're grateful to God hallelujah we're grateful to the God we serve he is more than enough. Hallelujah. He is more than enough. I don't care what you need. I don't care what your desire is. He is more. He is more than enough. He is more than enough. He is more than enough. Glory to your name. Thank you, Jesus. We're grateful today that we serve a God who cares about us, who loves us, who is making a way for us. Even while we slumber and sleep, not even in consciousness, but God is making a way. God sending miracles and blessings. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He can give you what you need, didn't even ask for. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. He said all these blessings. All of them. All these blessings shall overtake you. All these blessings. Hallelujah. I'm God. I don't need permission from nobody. I just bless you when I get ready. Hallelujah. I bless you because I love you. I bless you because you're a way maker. Hallelujah. Oh, I bless his name. I love him. Thank you, choir, for blessing us today. We can see the love of Jesus. Even when we don't deserve it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you know you could have done better. Oh, hallelujah. But thank you for mercy. Thank you for your grace. You keep making a way. And while we're going through our most difficult moments, He's there. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He promised to never leave you. Nor forsake you. I'm with you always. Even to the end of eternity. 
end of the world. Thank him today. Let's give the Lord a praise in the house. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We give honor to the Spirit of God, to all of our visitors who are here today, and to all the saints of God. Praise the Lord. To our mothers, our deacons, our elders. Amen. God is good. All the first ladies in the house today, God is good. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I want to talk today about sowing and reaping. Sowing and reaping. This is our year of sowing and reaping. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because you can't reap where you have not sown. Hallelujah. We ask the Lord for a year of spiritual enlargement. God would open up the windows of heaven. And pour us out a blessing. And he's going to do that too. Do you trust him? Do you have faith to believe? Praise the Lord. The preacher said this morning, without an expectation, there can be no manifestation. Will you expect it? God said, I can do what you ask me to do. Praise the Lord. In the book of Galatians, chapter 6, again, verses 7 through 9. For our lesson this morning. It reads, Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. He that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. He that soweth to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap life everlasting. And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Hallelujah. He says to us, don't be deceived. Hallelujah. What God says, he means. And he means what he says. God is not mocked. In other words, God will not allow what he's said to us to fall to the ground. Hallelujah. Not as some who heard the word and it fell among thorns and thickles. And some fell on rocky ground. Some fell, praise the Lord, in good soil. And it brought forth plenty. God saying to us this year, I want it to be your year of reaping, sowing, and reaping. I want you to plant something. By faith, I want you to put something in the ground. I want you to say to the Lord, I'm willing to give my seed and place it. In good ground. Hallelujah. Because I know if I put it in good ground, I'm going to reap what God has for me. We can't sow anything. You've got to sow 
things that are spiritual. He said, if you sow to the flesh, you shall of the flesh reap corruption. Hallelujah. Sometimes folks are sowing things, but they're not sowing the things that bring about true life. Hallelujah. We've got a soul to the spiritual things. We've got a soul to the things that God has commanded us to do. He said, my word has gone out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me, boy. We got to sow the word. We got to sow things that will bring us salvation and bring us peace. Praise the Lord. We're not out here just sowing evil stuff. The devil is spreading evil. The man planted his field and sowed into it and waited on the crop, but the enemy came by night, put tares in the wheat. And when it grew up, it grew up together. And the master asked, the servants asked, rather, should we go and pull it up? The Lord said, no, leave it alone. Unless you pull up some of the good, trying to get rid of the bad. I come by to tell you today, there's a reaping that has to be done. There's a sowing that has to be done. If you expect miracles, you got to sow. You got to sow the right kind of stuff. If you don't, you'll always come up short. And you'll wonder what happened. But the Bible said God is not mocked. He doesn't tell us something and then take it back. He doesn't tell us something and then and say, well, well, it'll be all right because you didn't do it just right, but I'm going to bless it anyway. Some people think we can sow anything and God's going to bless it. But he said, if you sow to the flesh, you shall love the flesh, reap corruption. Praise the Lord. Every step you take look like you fall back too. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Praise the Lord. Sometimes we got to change the ground. Where we're planting because it's falling on hard places. Hallelujah. The birds come by, pluck it up, and it never manifested. Stony places. Amen. God said, I want some planted in good ground. I want you to plant things that will grow up into righteousness. God said, I want to rain down righteousness on you. Every child of God ought to be expecting God to do something miraculous. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When you live right, the Bible says, rather, we sing in the song, heaven belongs to you. If you pray right, if you fast right, if you do what's right, heaven belongs to you. The Bible said God ain't mocked. God ain't deluded. God don't tell you part truths. He like make you think everything is all right. God tells you just the way it is. You want to do your thing, but God said you can't do your thing. You want to have it your way, but God said you can't have it your way. Your way is the way of destruction. But my way is the way to life. Every day we're on the journey to life. Hallelujah. Every day 
we say it gets a little sweeter. Every day we get a little closer to Jesus. Every day. It's not a sunshine day, but every day with Jesus. He causes it to be sunshine. Hallelujah. Even on your rainy days, God come and touch you and bless you. Thank you, Jesus. I remember when it rained, you had stuff you could still do inside. It didn't mean nothing happened inside. Hallelujah. Don't be deceived. Don't let people tell you you don't have to do all that. There are fanatics over there. That's a cult over there. But Jesus said, be holy. Because I'm holy. Hallelujah. I'm not trying to dodge the holiness I'm supposed to bring forth. I'm not trying to tell somebody you don't have to be holy. I'm proclaiming you got to be holy. You got to be sanctified. You got to be fire baptized. You got to have Jesus on the inside. And if you got these things, you're on your way. Hallelujah. You're on your way to victory. But Satan don't want you to make it. Hallelujah. He don't want you to make it. He'll bring by exactly what you want. And you know you don't need it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He knows what you like. He's, he's watching. He knows your appetite. He knows. Praise the Lord. What turns you on? What turns you off? So Satan he don't do nothing to turn you off. He's going to turn you on. And I'm talking about your flesh and your own desires. He come to turn it on. And every time you say I'm going to live for Jesus, he turns it up a little bit more. And before you know it, he's got it burning so high that he's trying to attract your attention. He's trying to get you to turn around for the things you promised God that you were going to do. He knows what we promised. Hallelujah. And on every scene, he's trying to get you to sow to your flesh. He's trying to get you to say, I'll do that later. I understand what I'm supposed to do, but can it wait to later? Hallelujah. Folks, I'll serve God later. I, I, I know I can do what I'm supposed to do, but later. Hallelujah. It's a trap, y'all. <laughs> Satan's setting up traps and telling us we can do it later. You don't have to get serious now. Don't get too serious now. You're too young to get serious. Or you're too old to worry about it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He's trying to make you lose your confidence in God. See, I plan it, but I don't see nothing yet. I've sown, but I don't see nothing yet. I don't think God can do this. But you got to wait on the weeping time. He said, wait well, on the Lord. If you planted something, wait on it. If you're trusting God for something, wait on it. Don't become impatient. Just wait on God. He said, wait on him. He'll show up. Praise the Lord. Wait on the Lord. And again, I say, wait. Wait on the Lord. We become impatient. We say to the Lord, I don't know if I don't move now, I'm going to lose what I want to do. I need you to come yesterday and you still haven't done nothing yet. I just stopped by to tell you, 
when you sow, wait on God. This is going to be our year of enlargement. Don't you dare give up. Don't you dare think God's not going to do it. God's going to do it. He's going to do it. Even if he did it 264 days from now. 364 days from now. This is our year. You take the time that's already happened for the end of the year. God going to give you a testimony. He's going to get the testimony. And the enemy... It's going to be no longer on your back, but under your foot. Why are you looking for your enemy to be? When God gets to blessing me, the enemy that's trying to ride my back and the enemy trying to stop me, they are trying to hinder me from planting good seed. It's going to be on my back to tell the Lord no longer because God's going to put him under my foot. And everything I pray is going to be reaping time. Sounds like it's going to come a reaping time. Don't you get up because God's going to reap. You're going to be saying, I don't know where all these blessings come. I don't know how God did it, but God did it. I don't know how he opened the door, but he opened the door. And we'll be shouting. We'll be praising God. Because there's some things only God can do. A good thing that things mom and daddy can't do. There's things that your friends can't do. There's things that the mayor downtown can't do. The things that the president can't do. But Jesus can't do anything but fail. Jesus can bring you out. I want him under my feet. I want to stomp on him. I just don't want him down there holding me up. I want to be able to put my boot to the devil behind. Pray, Lord, and tell him to get behind me, Satan. The thing you planned for me, God has better plans. God had other plans. And what you plan to be my demise, God will bless me and give me life. Give me life eternal. I'm going to stop giving the devil any credit. He don't deserve nothing. He's a slew-footed lion, backstabbing, praise the Lord, son of a gun. He don't care nothing about you. The world love his own. The world love his own. You trusting somebody that don't even have the Holy Ghost, don't have no love for you, and you think they love you, but they don't really love you. Hallelujah. They just there to use you. Hallelujah. The Lord said, I'm going to put somebody in your life that's going to love you. Hey, the Lord ain't going to appreciate you. Ain't going to promote the righteousness that's in you. Praise the Lord. Before you know it, your harvest is going to be great. How many are you looking for a great harvest? I'm looking for a great harvest. God going to move some stuff out the way. Yeah, Amen. And give you some new stuff. Pray the Lord God, God said, you don't need this old stuff no more. I got some new stuff I'm going to do. I'm going to lift you out of that place you were, and I'm going to put you in a new place. I'm going to give you new joy. I'm going to give you new peace. I'm going to give you new, new, new. Hallelujah. I'm going to take you, and I'm going to enlarge you. I'm going to enlarge your territory. Hey, I'm going to lodge your spiritual eye. You obey the see the devil coming. Hey, Lord, I don't want him sticking up on me no more. I want to see that devil coming. Hey, the Lord is saying, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke you, Satan. In the name of Jesus, I come against you, Satan. In the name of Jesus. Get out of my way. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah. He ain't got no business on your back. He ain't got no business on your trail. Speak to him. Speak to him. And tell him where to go. Speak to him. And say, get behind me, Satan. Hallelujah. God is not mocked. For whatsoever man soweth, that shall he reap. Whatever you sow is coming up. Folks say you one thing. Praise the Lord. You said, I planted some mustards. Praise the Lord. But I got up some turnips. Something wrong with that. Because God doesn't mix up stuff. So when you plant turnips, you expect turnips. When you plant mustards, you expect most mustard green. You don't want to go out there with your mouth watering, talking about, I got me some mustard planted out there. And you get out there, they turnips. You say, well, it's a good green to eat. No, but it's not what I planted. An enemy has come and planted something else. I want what God got for me. I don't want no substitute. I want what God's got for me. God's got everything. I ain't accepting no invitation this year. If it ain't the real thing, I don't want it. If it ain't the real thing, I don't need it. If it ain't the real thing, send it back to the lake of fire. If it ain't the real thing, but Jesus is real. He's the real thing. He's the real God. He's the real way maker. Hallelujah. Satan want to sell us some bad goods. Hallelujah. So we can plant stuff that God is not happy with. Just sit down for just a minute. There's some things the devil plants. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And there's some things that God plants. In that fifth chapter of Galatians. He said, the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanliness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, immolations, wrath, Strife, seditions, heresies, envy, murders, drunkenness, ravens, and of such like, of which I tell you before, as I have told you in time past, they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Praise Lord, you gotta put your flesh behind you. You gotta put things behind you that's trying to kill your spirit. You gotta put that mess behind you. Pray Lord, and get ready for victory. And get ready for God to move things out of your way. I gotta lay it down. I gotta put it away from me. I don't want no adultery near me. I don't want no uncleanliness near me. I don't want no hatred near me. I don't want no wrath near me. I want to do what the Lord said to. I don't need the strife. I don't need no murderers, no drunkenness. Praise the Lord. Paul said of such like I told you. Praise the Lord. That he which doeth such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. We say we're going somewhere. Ah, you got to plant the right stuff. Praise the Lord. Look at it good. Plant the right stuff. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That 22nd verse, and I'm going to bring it to close. He said, but the fruit of the Spirit is love. Love. Love, love. Joy. Peace. Long suffering. Long suffering. Long suffering. 
Sometimes we can't put up with nothing for no time at all. Pray, Lord, but you got to be long-suffering. Pray the Lord, gentleness, goodness, faith. Pray the Lord, he said, and meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. God said, do it all you want to do in it. Pray the Lord, it's good for you. Eat it, eat it, eat it all. Pray the Lord, let your love be manifested. Pray the Lord, let love be in your heart. Let goodness be down in your soul. Send no evil. Pray the Lord, don't let things happen to your spirit that's going to handle you from sowing good seed. Because there's going to be a harvest at the wild. God's going to come and harvest. And I don't want no mess growing up. In my field. Hallelujah. Goodness, faith, meekness. Hallelujah. Not a boaster. Not proud. Not calling yourself something you're not. Pray, Lord, you got to believe it the way it is. Look at yourself in the mirror. The problem is we forget what we look like. Pray, Lord, and you ain't looking too good when you come out, when you allow these evil things to be in your spirit. But you got to get it out of you and say, Lord, put some good stuff down in me. Put the fruit of the spirit down in me. Put joy down in me. Give me what I need. Hallelujah. He said, against such there is no law. And they that are Christ's have crucified the flesh with the yeah, affections and the lust. You for the crucified. Every saint ought to be crucified. You've been on the cross lately? Pray, Lord, sometimes we got to go back to the cross. Pray, Lord, because we didn't stay there long enough. We got to come back to the altar. Pray, Lord, and get some mess out of us that should have been gone 14, 15, 20 years ago. And we are still talking about I'm saved and sanctified. You better come back to the altar. Hallelujah. Thank you, sir. You got to come back and do your first work over. Hey, Lord, you can't get the hate out your heart. Come back and do your first work over. Hey, Lord, come back and say, Lord, forgive me. Lord, I want you to do in me what needs to be done. I'm not worried about what folks say about me. I just want to be right. Glory to you. I want to be holy. I want to know that you're God. I want to know I'm planting the right stuff. I want to know I got a harvest. You got a harvest coming. God got a harvest for us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Everyone who walk upright. Praise the Lord. Before God, you got a harvest coming. Praise the Lord. You got enlargement coming. God already got a plan in your life. He already set it up. Hallelujah. He knows my heart. He knows my mind. And he's already set plans for me. If God got plans for you. If God got plans for you. If God got plans for you. Sit on your feet and say thank you. Glory. If God already made plans, hallelujah, the devil could do nothing to Job until God took the heads down. Hallelujah. But Job said, I'm going to trust God. Hallelujah. Why? He said, won't you just curse God and die? But Job said, you sound like a foolish woman. God did everything to me. God is everything to me. If I forsake God, who shall I turn to? Since we let God down, who can we turn to? God is our everything. Sowing and reaping 
for the enlargement we seek from God. Hallelujah. God is not mocked. In other words, he's not to be played with. We say we're Christians, but it's more than a, a saying. It's a lifestyle. Hallelujah. How you living? That's what the Lord wants to know. How you living? How you living? I hear you, but how you living? Oh, thank you, Jesus. I heard your testimony, but how you living? What you planting? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You can't plant, plant hatred and, and think goodness going to come out of it. Love ain't coming out of hatred. He said, you become like a sounding breast. Tickling symbol. I hear you. You know it's make of you. <laughs> Hallelujah. See, God said, come as you are. Because he could take what sounds like noise to everybody else's. Become like a sweet smelling sea. And God is soaking up all of the fragrance. The love that you're putting forth. It's time to get things in order. Praise the Lord. I'm not saying there's nobody here out of order. I'm just preaching the word. You do what you want to do with it. Use it like you want to use it. But it's got to be the right thing sold. God can't mock himself. Hallelujah. We think God going to turn around and make it right. But it's what you plant that comes up. Hallelujah. So you got to say to the Lord, forgive me for what I have sown. I don't want to sow that mess no more. I want to sow good stuff. Change me from the inside out. Give me the heart like you. I don't want to just profess something and don't possess it. A lot of professors, but I heard you, I heard you. A lot of saying, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. The Bible says, but your heart is far from me. I don't even recognize you. I don't recognize you. That's what he's going to say. I don't know you. Hallelujah. Lord, we cast out demons in your name. We did great works in your name. Lord, we did so much in your name. But God's going to say, you didn't sow right. Hmm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He's going to say, I don't even know you. Never knew you. You never made the right connection. Hallelujah. You got to be born into this. This ain't nothing you can work your way in. If you can work your way in, it'll be a whole lot of people crying holy. But Jesus said you must be born of the water and of the spirit. Else you won't see the kingdom. I want to see the kingdom. I want to see God for myself. I want to see him for myself. I want God to know how much I love and appreciate him. Praise the Lord. There's someone who's our prayer today. I want you to come. This was the, the message scripture my father preached from years ago. When I received that turnaround in my life, I said, I can't go no further the way I am. I got to make a change. I've got to make a change. Come on, let the Lord bless you to make a change.
Please.